I am Prerna Reddy, audiologist and senior speech language pathologist at Harika ENT Care Hospitals, Vanasthalipuram. Today we are going to talk about parts of the hearing aid. Now, if you look at a hearing aid, hearing aids has three major parts. The first part is microphone. Microphone is picks up all the sounds which are there in the environment for the patient. The second part is amplifier. This amplifies the present sound and makes it loud. The third part is receiver. The sounds which have been picked up and the sound that is amplified has to now reach the patient's ear canal for what the patient to listen and understand. So any hearing aid has these three parts and these three parts comprises and this help us to make styles, show you what styles of hearing aids are. Until now, we have spoken about the parts of hearing aid. Now, we are going to talk about styles of hearing aid. Hearing aid styles are decide, divided into two parts. One is custom, other thing, other one is non-custom hearing aids. Now, what is custom hearing aids? When you take an ear impression of the patient and then you take and then you send it to the company and then the, when the hearing aid comes with the ear shape, it is called as a custom hearing aid. These custom hearing aids is generally given to patients who have lost till about 70 to 75 dB. Okay, when the patient can perceive the sound better, even if the hearing aid is placed inside the canna. The second type of, the second style of which are, which are commonly seen hearing aids are RIC and BT. Now, what is RIC? RIC is receiver in the canal. When, uh, if you look at the hearing aid, I told you there are three parts in a hearing aid. The microphone and amplifier are there in the casing, but the receiver of this hearing aid is going inside the ear. Now, what happens? Whatever sound, if the receiver is inside the ear, whatever the sound is heard, is much more clearer and much more natural for the patient to listen. And we give this hearing aid for patients who are having prof loss up to severe, up to 90 dB, we suggest the hearing aid RIC. And we don't give it for, for children who are having a lot of loss and we don't give it for people who are having ear infections. Common ear discharge if, if a patient is having, we don't recommend RIC. In those cases, we recommend a BT, a commonly seen hearing aid. If you see this hearing aid, this is how a common hearing aid you must have seen around. So, RIC is a relatively new style of hearing aid. BTE hearing aid is there from a long time. Now, this BTE hearing aid, prof, high power hearing aid. This is given to children who are having a lot of loss or for patients who are having regular ear discharge like I mentioned. Now, if you see this pipe, this pipe is called a tube which can be easily replaceable and is very cheap. Now, hearing aids are of two styles even in terms of how you power them. You power them either using a battery as this hearing aid or or you power them using a power bank or a rechargeable case. We put the hearing aid in the rechargeable case, put it for connection to electricity. The, the hearing aid is rechargeable like our phones these days. And both rechargeable phones have Bluetooth connectivity and can help you to have other features which can help the lifestyle related benefits for a patient. Thank you.